Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. For those considering a move to Carmel, Indiana, hey, today I'm going to share the top six pros and cons of living in Carmel, Indiana. Year in and year out, Carmel gets named to the top of one best this or best that list in the state or national rankings. Heck, already in 2024, Carmel's been named the number two best place to live in the entire United States by niche.com. They also named it the number one best suburb to live in in America. And livability.com named it the number one best place to live in the US. So there's no shortage of top shelf accolades, that's for sure. But is it all it's cracked up to be? Hey, shall we check it out? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Let's look at the top six cons of living in Carmel, Indiana. Number one has to be the roundabout. There's like 150 of them. I was talking with a new client last week, Linda from Chicago, and she just hates them. She's not used to them, doesn't want anything to do with them. Thinking about going back to Chicago. Number two, there's no lakes, no rivers, no beaches, no mountains, not much of natural beauty. The number three big con is the cost of living. It's 12% above the national average and 30% above the state. That's almost entirely due to the housing cost. You can get more for less in nearby communities. The number four con for Carmel, Indiana is that it's the second richest city in the state. Con, you say? Well, it may not sit well with you if you're not in the top of that pyramid and your kids will definitely have to deal with it in school. I can remember when I had a kid in the junior high and I was driving them around with some friends and they were in the back there talking about the new TV system this kid just had. And it was something I couldn't even begin to afford. Or I had my kids tell me one time about how it came over the uh, loudspeaker system at the school, at the high school, and they were saying with the, uh, there are students that are parking in the teacher parking lot and they need to move their uh, vehicles right now and they started naming them. It was Mercedes this and Porsche this, and you know, it was just, it was just vehicles that your kid may not be driving. And unless you forget what high school was like, hey, if you're not in the in crowd, sometimes it's not so much fun. Number five, let's talk schools. And let's talk the high school specifically. It is the largest high school in the state with 5,200 students. It is very easy to get lost in. You just won't know everyone. Yes, the school wins lots of state athletic titles and band titles and everything else, but it's not necessarily easy for a kid to make the team. You know, my dad went to a high school of 5,000 boys back in the day. And to play football, you know, you'd go out there and they'd say, who wants to be a wide receiver? And they'd line them up and they'd have a foot race. And if you weren't in the top whatever, you could forget about it. Didn't matter what kind of hands you had. So the schools on one hand get great rankings, but on the other hand, they may not be for every kid. The number six con. Many residents of neighboring towns consider Carmelites to have an air of superiority or a certain pretentiousness. And these people don't necessarily cotton to that. And if you live in Carmel, you may get to the point where you don't mention that fact in certain groups. Just saying. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Okay, let's switch gears and talk about the pros of living in Carmel, Indiana. Number one, it is safe. Year in and year out, Carmel is named one of the safest places to live in the state of Indiana. And unlike big city residents, residents here feel safe. Number two, Carmel, Indiana is clean. There's no grime or big city feel here. Number three is the school system. It's ranked by niche.com as the second best public school system out of 290 in the state. Number two out of 290, think about that. And when it comes to high school sports, it wins tons of state championships. I think the swim teams won over 20 years straight. They can beat most college teams by a good margin. My wife's daughter Angie played on four straight state high school champion soccer teams. She's got four rings. You just don't get those kinds of results anywhere else. Number four is the wealth. It helps create opportunities. So you get things like the Palladium with the national events schedule. You have development and redevelopment like the Arts and Design District with tons of restaurants and shops. You have all those roundabouts which make traffic flow. And when it comes to healthcare, think about it. All the money and all the good insurance make it that the hospitals want to move here and open up all kinds and all styles and fashions of healthcare opportunities for people to spend their money on. 
Or hey, we can talk golf. There's lots of good golf courses, public and private. The number five pro for Carmel, Indiana. There are dozens and dozens of company headquarters. Carmel has a healthy business climate. There are lots of jobs. You know, I get calls from people all over the country and they want to know about going downtown for jobs or going downtown to see this or that or to shop. And I'm like, hey, you got it all backwards. Other than some government jobs and some NGOs downtown, all the jobs are up in Carmel and Hamilton County and along the Beltway. And along with all the jobs, that's where all the shopping and all those types of things are as well. Number six, back to that era superiority thing. Hey, it just may add to the spirit of excellence. I mean, striving to meet expectations, living up to expectations, just saying. So there are plenty of reasons why Carmel has leapfrogged past all the other suburbs to be wealthy and the largest that there is. Hey, and to win all those awards, like best place to live in America. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.